Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. The Crystal Maze The Crystal Maze is a British game show devised by Jacques Antoine and shown on Channel 4 in the United Kingdom. The show is set within The Crystal Maze, a labyrinth consisting of four different zones and its centerpiece called The Crystal Dome. Each show has a team of contestants travel across the zones, competing in a range of different challenges, with a time crystal one for each challenge successfully completed. Upon reaching the center dome, a time limit is calculated based on the crystals obtained and the team have to collect as many gold tokens as possible in the allotted time to win the prize. The first four series, including three Christmas specials, were presented by Richard O'Brien, followed by two series and two specials hosted by Edward Tudor Pohl, with a one-off celebrity edition, informally known as the Crystal Maze for Stand Up to Cancer, hosted by Stephen Merchant in 2016. On 13 January 2017, it was confirmed that Richard Ioade would host a new 20-episode series later in the year. The new series, sponsored by OnePlus, will begin in June. It was also announced that Mumsy would not be returning, but the series would add Adam Buxton as Jarhead and Jessica Hines as The Knight. In March 2016, the Crystal Maze live experience opened, allowing the public to buy tickets and compete in a replica of the game show's zones and challenges. Creation Originally Chatsworth Television intended to make a British version of the French show Fort Boyard. The original outlined concept was, according to Richard O'Brien, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons with the host acting as the Dungeon Master, O'Brien's name, was thrown into the hat at that point. A pilot of Fort Boyard was filmed, hosted by Richard O'Brien. But after Channel 4 commissioned a full series it became apparent Fort Boyard's set would be unavailable in time for filming. Producer Malcolm Hayworth contacted Fort Boyard's creator Jack Antoine about developing an alternative format using themed zones as a means to keep the show visually fresh. The Crystal Maze concept was developed in two days, creating a show which although similar to Fort Boyard, was substantially different in presentation and style. The set The Crystal Maze was filmed on a very large custom-built set designed by James Dillon. For the first series H stage in Shepparton Studios, a space with a water tank was used for filming. After the first series the production decided to expand the maze, moving to an adapted aircraft hangar, Hangar 6, operated by Isis High Studios at Northweald Airfield in Essex. Each series of the show featured its own portfolio of games, 37 different game designs in Series 1, and between 46 and 49 games in each subsequent series. The 2016 Celebrity Special was filmed at the Crystal Maze Live Immersive Experience in London, as the original set had long since been dismantled. For the 2017 revival Dylan was once again given the task of designing the maze, this time built in a warehouse at the Bottle Yard Studios in Bristol. Theme Tune The theme tune for The Crystal Maze was composed by Zach Lawrence and is entitled Force Field. It was used through all six series. The original track is 1 minute and 5 seconds long. However, it was shortened for the opening and ending titles. The underscore remix of the theme tune played during the show itself was also composed by Zach Lawrence. Format The objective of the show was to amass as many time crystals as possible.
By playing the games in each zone, winning a game secured a crystal, worth 5 seconds of time. For the team in the Crystal Dome, when the team reached the Crystal Dome, they had to collect as many gold tokens as possible in order to win a prize. The Maze and the Zones The set was divided into four zones set in different periods of time and space. For the first three series, the Revival and in the Live Experience, the zones were Aztec, Futuristic, Future, Medieval, and Industrial. From Series 4 onwards Industrial was replaced by Ocean, set on the SS Atlanta, a sunken ship. The maze itself was not literally a maze, but rather four interconnected zones with the crystal dome at the center. The dome was a giant geometric glass crystal where the final challenge is played. There were a variety of methods to gain access to the starting zones including rowing canoes in Aztec, opening a heavy portcullis in Medieval, answering the computer's questions in Futuristic, opening metal gates in Industrial, and traversing a net ladder in Ocean. Original In each regular episode, a team consisting of three men and three women aged between 16 and 40 would enter the maze. The teams were put together by the production team, and did not know each other before appearing on the show. 38,000 contestant applications were received for the show's final series. Gameplay was cooperative throughout, with the team captain choosing which contestant would play, and which category of challenge the game would involve. The rest of the team were able to see what was going on inside the room through monitors or windows and give advice to the person playing. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.